Tharapti, in terms of industrial output, we've actually seen that surprise to the upside. It's coming at plus one percent month on month versus the contraction that was expected obviously this is a little bit of a messy read on the the month on month basis you've got retail sales though absolutely popping it actually came in at 2.4 percent versus that 1.9 percent lift that we did expect at the same time so when you see those numbers on retail sales akubo san coming in at the, the 2.4 is that a function to you on inflation or is that a function on a little bit of a lag in terms of consumption strength now but potentially not so much if we look forward to the, the second half of the year okay well there's definitely an inflation you know japan is now having some inflation but the, but we are still talking about just one two percent uh, so and uh, yes uh you know inflation is uh slightly higher than expected but uh, so the, the pop is definitely coming from a real consumption. So like I said earlier, Japanese consumers are starting to feel more confident going out, you know, having drink, uh, going shopping. So there, sh there should be an upward momentum within Japanese economy. But, but even with the fact that you are going to be seeing a, a raft of price increases coming through, because restaurateurs are telling you that, businesses in the town kind of telling you that, the, the food price increases that we're expecting to see, even as the government subsidises, you think that consumption will hold? And I suppose what you're suggesting is your base case is that's on mm. the back of the, the COVID-19 reopening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so in terms of uh, Japan, Japanese economy, so forget the global economy, Japanese economy, um, I do think we are still, uh, we're still actually, there's a lot of room uh, to just go back to where we were before the COVID uh, in terms of, uh, you know, obviously tourism, in terms of consumption. So there should be uh, upward momentum in Japan. Obviously, there's a risk. Uh, global economy, you know, uh, central bank everywhere are raising rates. So how it would impact the global economy and how it will, it will have a repercussion in Japan. So that is a different story. But the, if we, we look at just Japanese factors, uh, Jap there should be an uh, upward surprise in Japanese growth. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.